Remember when I said that I mostly rock the female skins in Fortnite? Well, when it comes to icon skins, that's a whole different story. So today I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to my previous top 10, which was centered on my favorite original Fortnite skins. Doki Gen Yo V1 starter protagonist is here, and today I'm going to be listing my top 10 favorite Fortnite icon skins, ranging from content creators to athletes to music artists and producers, etc. Now, I do recommend you check out my previous top 10 video if you're interested in seeing which original skin is my favorite. The link to it will be in the top right corner, so you can go check that out. But without further ado, let's get started with this top 10. Starting off the list is Kabi Lame at number 10. Now, Kabi is actually the first icon skin I've ever gotten. He's from Chapter 4 Season 4's Battle Pass, and from what I recall, he's the second icon skin to be locked behind a Battle Pass, which is a bit unfortunate. The first being Neymar Jr. from Chapter 2 Season 6's Battle Pass. Now I actually like Kabi's content. Him making things more simple without even speaking is both funny and cool. And as for his skin, it's pretty cool as well. And I even like the cell shaded edit style, despite me not using it once. But yeah, Kabi Lame in Fortnite is something I don't really mind at all. Now at number 9 is The Weeknd, specifically the After Hours Weeknd. A bit disappointing that he doesn't have a back bling, but whatever. I love listening to his music ever since he dropped his hit song, The Hills. And to this day, I'm still enjoying his music. So when I heard that he's headlining season 1 of Fortnite Festival, I was excited. I actually like the after hour style more than the combat style. It just looks cooler in my opinion. I haven't used him much, but I do enjoy playing as the after hours man from time to time. And now we're at the number 8 spot, and I'm going to give it to Mr. Beast. As I said before, him being at 1200 V-Bucks is crazy, but is a huge steal. You must be living under a rock if you haven't heard of Mr. Beast. His content mainly focuses on using all of his money to help or save people's lives, which is amazing. And for him to be in Fortnite makes sense, considering that he has a gaming channel. And as for the skin, he looks really cool. I don't run him as much, but I enjoy playing as him, and it's good to see him in Fortnite. Now at number 7 is Marshmallow, and if I can recall, he's the first person to have an icon skin. I haven't listened much to the music he's produced, but I do think his icon skin is top notch. I like the reactivity on the skin whenever you play lobby music or emotes. I do wish he would have came with a back bling, but other than that, Marshmallow definitely deserves his spot in the icon series and he also deserves his 7th spot on this list. Dissing his way into number 6 is the Slim Shady skin. Eminem is easily one of the greatest rappers alive and to this day he's still thriving. But him making his way into Fortnite is something I never expected. He has 3 different skins representing his career. His Slim Shady, which is pretty much his ego. Rap Boy, which is referencing the song Without Me. And of course, Marshall Nevermore. Now, I will say this, the Big Bang Live event could have been a lot better, but the three skins definitely made up for it. But however, out of the three, Slim Shady is my favorite Eminem skin. He just looks way cooler in my opinion, and his Shady Demon style is just awesome. Now, he is a bit pricey being at 1900 V-Bucks, but the edit styles, the reactivity, the transformation emote, and the reactive back bling makes up for it. Overall, Slim Shady's a badass skin, and while there's a million of people who could be the next best thing, they can never be the real Slim Shady if you catch my drift. And now we're entering top 5 territory, and at number 5, it's going to be Red Roots Billy, now the second Billy Eilish skin for Fortnite Festival Season 3. I do like Green Roots Billy, but Red Roots really does it for me. The long black and red hair, the black and red knee socks, the red Nikes, and she has that really cool and demonic vibe. I haven't listened much to her music, but songs like Bad Guy and All The Good Girls Go To Hell are pretty good. If I have the time, I'll probably listen to more of her music, but for now, I'm perfectly fine with rocking the skins. However, she can never beat out the legend at number 4, which is Chromatica Armor Gaga. Lady Gaga is one of the few pop artists that I enjoy listening to, from Just Dance to Stupid Love to Poker Face to Bloody Mary to Sour Candy featuring Blackpink, as well as Rain On Me featuring Ariana Grande. But my personal favorite is Applause. So it was a pleasant surprise to see her headline season 2 of Fortnite Festival. Her Festival Pass skin is really amazing, but I like Chromatica Armor Gaga just a little more. 
The way they represented the armor she wore in her Chromatica album cover was really awesome to see. They did a really good job bringing Mother Monster into Fortnite, and I really enjoyed playing as her in both Battle Royale and in Fortnite Festival. Taking the bronze medal is the king himself, Nick A30. Nick is easily top 5 when it comes to Fortnite content creators. He worked really hard at becoming one of the best and is very humble and down to earth. And I also enjoy the fact that he edits his own videos which is amazing. And he definitely earned his icon skin. He looks really cool in Fortnite and the reference game and memes are so strong. From his iconic catchphrase, never back down, never what, to his you think you're the king catchphrase. And the red, purple, black, and white really meshes well together. I also like the fact that he has a bunch of edit styles too. And I still can't believe he has his own jam track in the game. No wonder it took two years to bring Nick into Fortnite. Epic has been putting a lot of effort into bringing him into Fortnite and it definitely paid off. But even with all the edit styles, the jam track, and the references, he doesn't come close to being number two, which is where Loser Fruit is at. Loser Fruit is another Fortnite content creator that I also enjoy watching. Her content is pretty entertaining and her thumbnails really sticks out a lot. Instead of using her face, for the most part, she uses her icon skin for thumbnails, which I find amazing. But the one video I cannot believe she actually made is a video of her hosting a fashion show on which Fortnite skin is thicker than hers, which is pretty funny. And yeah, her Fortnite skin is pretty thick in the thighs, hips, and booty. Other than that, I do like the rainbow hoodie she got going on. It kind of looks reactive despite not being reactive. And the same goes for his sneakers, which looks really cool. Reminds me of the light up sneakers I used to wear as a kid. And just like Nick A30, Loser Fruit is also top 5 in terms of Fortnite content creators. But as a content creator, I think she got the best icon skin. She may not have much in terms of edit styles and other cosmetics, but she still got it going in terms of design. Hopefully she'll ask Epic to add a bit more to her set, because I see even more potential in her. But with that being said, now we move on to my number one favorite icon skin of all time. And taking the number one spot is Ariana Grande. She's arguably my favorite pop singer of all time. I absolutely love her music as I said before. And as I said before, Sweetener is my favorite album from her. But I still gotta listen to Eternal Sunshine at some point. Now of course, she has three skins in Fortnite. Her original from Chapter 2 Season 7, which was to celebrate the Rift Tour. Space Far Ariana from Chapter 2 Season 8 to celebrate Fort Nightmares. Which I'm hoping this year's Fort Nightmares is a big step up to the most garbage summer event we just had. And this season, we got Rosie Rift Goddess Ariana for Fortnite Festival. They're all amazing skins, but I like the original a lot more. It just looks so damn beautiful. The outfit is very nice and sparkly, from the top to the skirt and the boots too. I also like the star shaped earrings and the funky pink ponytail. They did not have to cook this hard with these sets, but I'm glad they did. I did watch the Rift Tour on YouTube and I kind of wish I would have started Fortnite around that time because that looked really awesome, but I I'm just happy to own the skin. I've waited a long time for her original skin to return, and over a year later, she finally came back. She's without a doubt my all-time favorite icon skin. But with that being said, that is going to be it for my list. Uh, let me know in the comments on which Fortnite icon skin is your favorite. Also, let me know in the comments below who's actually your favorite Fortnite content creator, even if they're not in Fortnite themselves. But yeah. That is going to be it for this video. Uh, I want to thank you guys for the love and support. We're at 900 subscribers. So uh, we, we are less than 100 more until we get to 1,000 members of the Star Nation. So if you're not a member just yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new videos that I upload. But with that being said, this is Star Protagonist signing out. As always, Goki Genyo, and have a star-tastic day, everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notifications on to join the Star Nation. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, and while you're at it, check out my previous video. Now.